everyone, and welcome to another episode of our Bears News Network. As you know, I'm your host, Miss Viha. Cut. Oh. oh. Remind me to edit that one out, okay? Let's start again. Take two. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of our Bears News Network. As you know, I'm your host, Mr. <laughs> Cut. All right, one more time. Ready? Take three. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of our Bears News Network. As you know, I'm your host, Mr. B. Got it. Third time's the charm. Anyways, we have a spectacular show for you today. We get to meet some pets, learn some sign language, and we even have another weird science with Mrs. Gurgitz. So why don't we start with that? Take it away, Mrs. Gurgitz. Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Gurgitz with Weird Science again. Today we're going to make some citrus volcanoes. And we're going to see the chemical reaction that happens when you add baking soda with the acid that's in citrus fruit. So today we're going to see what the difference is between a grapefruit, a lime, and a lemon's volcanic eruption. Would you like to make a hypothesis about what you think might happen? Remember that in a hypothesis is a guess about what you think the chemical reaction might be. To get started today, I want to take a stick and I'm going to poke holes in all three kinds of citrus fruit. First in the grapefruit, next in the lemon, and then in the lime. This is going to help the chemical reaction happen quicker because it will allow the baking soda to get down into the citrus fruit. The next step is I'm going to take some dish soap Dawn dish soap, and I'm just going to pour a little bit around the tops of my citrus fruits. Now this part is not really necessary. You could do this uh, experiment without it, but this will give the volcano a foamy, bubbly look when, it, when the chemical reaction happens. The next part is I'm going to take some food coloring and again, this is not necessary, but it makes a pretty cool um, effect once we see our volcanoes happening. So I'm gonna put a couple of drops on each citrus fruit. Okay. And let's see, maybe one of these. And then the next step is I'm going to take some baking soda and I'm going to spread it over the tops of my citrus fruits. And if you notice, I'm only using half of the citrus fruits because then the other half, I can squeeze onto it to uh, make the chemical reaction even bigger. All right, so here we go. Let's see which one do you think is going to have a better reaction? Give me one second. All right, got that. Now I'm going to take my um, stick and I'm gonna push it down again. Oh, look at that, it's starting already. And that's gonna get that baking soda into the acids of the fruit, just like so. And then, oh look, it's already happening. I'm going to take some of my citrus fruit and I'm going to go ahead and squeeze more to see the volcanoes erupt. Ooh, which one did you guess was going to make the biggest eruption? Was it this big, big one? That's a grapefruit. Wow, look at that go. So boys and girls, this is another experiment that you can do while you're at home with moms and dads. And again, all you need is some basic kitchen uh, supplies and you can make your own citric, citrus volcanoes. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your science time. Bye. Ooh, that looks really cool. If you try this experiment at home, will you send me some pictures? Because I want to put them up in our next episode. Keep the weird science coming, Mrs. Gurgitz. I know that we all love it. Well, for now, let's turn to our joke of the day. So Carrie, what do you have for us today? Home 
name is Carrie. What do you call a Tommy playing the drum? Hmm, I wonder what the answer could be. No, that doesn't help me with the answer. I guess we'll have to just wait and see until she gives us the answer. Well, while we wait for the answer to Carrie's joke, let's turn to Nora and Sadie. Hi, my name is Nora and this is my dog, Sadie. She is a one-year-old puppy. I'm going to show you some tricks. Sadie? Good girl. And then she caught the ball. <laughs> Aw, such a good dog. Don't you love dogs? I sure do miss seeing Eve and Jeremiah walking in the hallways and visiting our classrooms, don't you? I have a great idea. Maybe we can get Miss Kwasney's dog, Hank, to host our show one of these days. I could take a day off. I think he would be perfect for the job. So if you think Hank should be on our BNN as the host of the day, raise your hand right now. See, I think we have a yes. But before we move on to our next segment, let's check out the answer to Carrie's joke. It was, what do you call a tummy playing the drum? What do you call a tummy playing the drum? Well, Carrie? Tell us the answer. A drummy, get it? <laughs> Woo! Good job, Carrie. Well, let's turn to Mrs. Paladin for our next ASL sign of the week. how to sign it is time for lunch so we're gonna start off like this it it's an I and you're gonna poke it into your hand is time for lunch let's do that again it is time for lunch good job Thanks, Mrs. Paladin. I bet that will be a favorite ASL phrase of ours, since we get asked when lunch is all the time, right? Maybe our teachers will sign, it's time for lunch, instead of telling you today. Well, let's take a look at some of our special birthdays this week, shall we? This is your birthday song, it isn't very long. Hey, so it's your birthday, so it's your birthday. Happy birthday to our guests. So it's your birthday, so it's your birthday. Oakwood wishes you the best. Hey, hey. That's all the time we have today. Before we get going, I want to remind you that it is starting to get a little bit colder outside, right? So make sure that you bring your coats, maybe a hat, some gloves, because we're going to be going outside for music and PE as long as we can even if it's cold, even if it's windy, maybe even if it's snowing. Well, I don't know about that, but maybe we'll see. So make sure that you come prepared. And remember, if you want to be on an episode of our BNN, fill out the sign-up sheet and have someone at home look out at it for an email from me, because I've sent a few emails out already. I'm waiting to see all of the great things that you're going to show me. So join us next time on BNN. Have a very good week.